you're not wearing sunscreen every day, I'm questioning if you're well. That's just where I'm at right now in my life. I don't know where to begin Could be the curves on your body, but then Could be your hair, maybe your skin Yeah, uh -huh. Baby girl, I'm trying to get with you Come let me see what we get into see what we get. It don't even gotta be physical As long as that pretty face visible yeah. Hi guys, what's good? <clears throat> Whoa, where's my voice? <clears throat> Give me a second Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ree. Hi, on this channel we talk about a lot of things. A lot. Mainly travel life and beauty though. So if you're interested in those things, make sure, this is important, stay with me. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Thank you. Okay, so today we're doing a fun video. And we're back. Skincare. To our next. Because we're getting this skin together. I had such a bad, I guess, start to 2023 skin-wise. I've been having breakouts that I haven't had for, like, maybe two or three years. Like, I'm talking, like, my cystic acne where, like, things are hurting on my face. So, I have had really bad breakouts, but honestly, it's getting so much better. Like, I just, I haven't had any active breakouts, but I still have the dark marks from that whole acne uproar that my skin was doing so we're we're getting back there when my skin falls apart i'm all about that skincare i'm back on my research i'm back on my grind i'm back on learning how to do things and one of my biggest to do's on the personal skincare list for me was to get into my korean skincare i just love korean skincare it's much more hydrating and nourishing especially for acne prone skin so i'd say for the past couple months or so i've been adding some korean skincare products to the lineup and my skin has just been feeling so much more nourished so much more taken care of so much more hydrated especially because i use a lot of harsh ingredients like western medicine we got our benzoyl peroxide i use sulfur i use retin-a so i'm using a lot of intense drying ingredients so i love 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 having that little korean skincare balance into my routine because it just helps my skin to just honestly feel more balanced it is what it is so the point of this video because i know you're like girl i love it what's the point so the point of this video is that we're going to be trying three korean sunscreens i'm nervous because per my melanin versus maybe what is the norm in korea i'm expecting some turmoil because a lot of times when you try new sunscreens what is the thing that we are most afraid of the deadly white cast for me personally i have no time for it i don't want to go amongst my daily life feeling like casper i do not want to be that ghost so we're gonna try out i've never tried these before i wanted to do this video with you guys together i have three sunscreens here that i was able to get from stylevana i do have a coupon code they are this like huge korean k beauty really they do korean everything but mainly k beauty um, and i was able to pick up some of their sun creams or sunscreens these ones the first one is tokobo this is a bio watery sun cream spf 50 plus mm -hmm. next one is from instry i hope i'm saying that right this one is a hyaluronic acid watery sun gel and this one is also spf 50 plus and then the last one we're going to try today is the skin 1004 madagascar centella this is the hyaluronic water fit sun serum at spf 50 so this is this is serious all of these spfs are giving 50 we're not 30 girls anymore why it makes sense because i live in the tropics so the longer you can tell me that sunscreen lasts on my face the better but also the higher the spf the more chances that our skin are going to be protected and when you're using a lot of harsh acids and tough ingredients like what i do there's nothing worse than that direct sun impact in your face because it's going to make all of my dark marks darker it's going to make your face look old and wrinkly if you have aging skin it's just a hot note all around if you're not wearing sunscreen every day i'm questioning if you're well that's just where i'm at right now in my life and i want you to get the necessary help so i'll link all these down below and what we'll be doing in this video is over a few days we're just going to be trying this out and then we're going to rate them Every day that we're going to be doing our sunscreens, just to let you know, I did do my initial skincare. I'll show you it too, just in case you're into the vibes. It's just so funny because this is also a Korean um, brand. But I use the Innistry Intensive Hydration Serum with green tea. And then I follow up with the Innistry Intensive Hydration Cream with green tea. I get these from Sephora. I love these. 
these make my skin have like this natural glow i also use as a toner my good molecules niacinamide brightening toner so we have some hydrating ingredients in there but we also have the niacinamide to get the brightening going on so let's try this one first because the packaging i love a little ocean wave we're gonna try the skin 1004 madagascar sun Tower. this sunscreen is unscented super lightweight and it's also claiming to be hydrating with a non-greasy finish first of all the packaging you can't get enough of it you can't if you don't know this is when you know your products are straight from the motherland of korea first of all we're gonna just, just say a little prayer merciful and gracious father please let one of these work on my skin and please don't let me look like I'm bleachy amen all right let's try it Ooh. i think that's enough for first so usually I measure it around my finger, but okay, it feels very watery. Okay, yeah, we could get behind that. Oh wow, wow, wow! You better go off. <laughs> Not me cheesing. Where is it? Oh, 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 oh! I'm emotional. It's not there. I'm gonna buy one more. So when it applies, it, I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me see if I can show you. Y'all see that yellow tint? That's interesting because it applies with a yellow tint. When I put it on my melanin, it goes like a little purple, but this feels super, it almost feels like a moisturizer. Super lightweight. I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the cast. Okay, no, this one, this is a winner, winner chicken dinner. I appreciate this. It has pure centella from Madagascar. This sun serum, that's it. So my only, I guess, critique was that because it feels so nourishing and it has that hyaluronic acid component, I probably don't need to add a day serum to it. I could have probably just go in with a toner, my moisturizer, and then this. But first impressions, this buy in. First one out the gate, and she's giving you trouble because hydrating, but this is sunscreen. I know, I know, I'm overwhelmed as well. I'm personally taken aback. Okay, skin 1004, we see you. You don't have to scream. We see you. Korean skin can't be coming on our necks. That's all I can say. That's it. That's all. Let's try the next one on another day. BRB. New day, new sunscreen. Today, we're trying the Industry, Industry Hyaluronic Watery Sun Gel SPF 50. Let's get into it. Y'all know the same prep with the skin. This is claiming to have eight types of hyaluronic acid. No white gas. It says it on the thing. I don't know if y'all can see. For it to come off the bat and say, babes, we don't have those issues. I am excited. Come on. And this is my thing, right? If Korea can do it, so can you. I usually do two finger lengths. That's what the doctorly dermatologist said to do. Oh, well. Yep. I'm gonna rub that through. Super lightweight. And this is good too because I'm peeling, so I need that extra moisture. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, that's my hand. And this is my thing too, like these feel so lightweight on the skin. Like normally when I'm using other sunscreens, normally they're a little heavier on my skin. I kind of feel the sunscreen. These are super lightweight, blowing my mind. But I don't know if y'all can see the white cast wear. You can't even tell I want sunscreen. That's a lot to process. So right now we're two for two. This one is really good. This is just so clutch, especially for like beach days and stuff. Easy to apply, cute in your bag because of that blue. Mm-hmm, 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 just bad. Yeah, one more try. I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Last but not least, it's a new day. We're trying, I love the name, Tacobo. 
this is a bio wa bio watery sun cream so i'm expecting it to give us that moisture oh the packaging clean and crisp I just love how everything is just like you can't even don't get into it it's korean Oh. oh that just dissolved don't sleep on green sunscreen this is the lesson that we've learned we are three for three and that one has such a nice it's a little heavier but still very good highly recommend so let's just recap it because i feel like a lot happened in this video we tried three korean sunscreens and all three of them had no white gas uh hydration component where it was also hydrating for the skin can we just have a round of applause for korean skincare because that's impressive to have three like when i talk about i have been through so many different sunscreens and seeing so many white casts like i honestly could do a video on the ones what not to get because of how well i know them but to have three for three all made in korea they know what they're doing and korean skin gets slaps for a reason so yeah this is our conclusion we deep in it and i'm very grateful in this moment <laughs> all right y'all so i'm gonna close off this video now with my hydrated sun protected skin thank you so much for watching be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed i will leave all three of those down below for you guys of course link down below if you're interested in getting for yourself highly recommend highly recommend getting a good quality spf 50 sunscreen we are heading into summer let us not sleep let us be vigilant with our skin and be protected that's what i said anyway <laughs> thank y'all for watching as always i appreciate you i value you hey, bye see you on the next one bye